Hello everybody, welcome back to Unofficial Commentary on Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. This week we're watching episode 14, Silver Secret. Ranger this episode. Maybe we'll actually do something other than steal information from the Power Rangers and sort of act like a hologram. A poorly acted one that isn't nearly as cool as the version from the Morpher. Let's begin. And it turns out we had three villains this season. Strange how that didn't change that to represent the actual villain here. I, I'm sorry, what? Why didn't you mention this back in the episode that actually featured them? They are? If this guy ain't Freddie Mercury, I'll be disappointed. I have to admit, this guy, this guy sounds like he might have a decent singing voice. I have to say this, he's... Why? But yeah, you have to say this about him. He's kind of chill. In a world full of strife, we must fight to survive. Try to break the chains that divide. And there is only one chance to take the right stance. Hold tight, keep our power alive. Go, go, Power Rangers. Don't you ever stop. Go, go, Power Rangers. You will rise up to the top, Rangers forever, Dino Charge, all together. Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Dino Charge. Still haven't switched that out yet. Smacks a lit. Oh, there he is. In the same quarry that literally every fight the series has taken place in. Well, not literally, but most. The dude just said it! Wait a minute, what? How did he create dino chargers?
Well, that made no sense, but I'll admit that was actually kind of cool. Betra I'm pretty sure he was never on your side in the first place. Maybe that explains it. Maybe there's going to be a different Silver Ranger. Wait, seriously? Oh, there we go. That's the voice I was expecting. You know, that actually sounds incredibly similar to the, uh, transformation in my D&D &D campaign. What did he do to the communicator? How do you... Well, why didn't you explain that earlier? I'm, I'm sorry, how did... No, 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 I'm sorry. How does that ch... The dude's from space! He can't figure out how to make a better communi- bug than this. Dude, you weren't subtle at all. How do you f- mm. I'm sorry, since when did we have- Oh, is this the same technology you used on, uh... Wait, I don't even think they use this technology. Need a freak, Ivan, but... Now I had the time of my life. Never felt this way before. Seriously, shut up! Even when I'm trying to sing badly, I don't sing like this. Oh, thank you, Kendall! Oh lord, we're going down on this route, aren't we?
I'm sorry, why are we doing this? Yeah, this isn't a ripoff of, uh... Theo's Ark from Power Rangers Jungle Fury at all. Why do we have two series in a row that have singing in them? I read the casting sides for Ninja Steel, partially because I auditioned for Ninja Steel, and uh, one of the Rangers was a YouTuber who couldn't sing. Why, she's going to be the only one who actually does anything right. Oh, I know what Kendall taught her how to do. She built- why is CM Punk here? She built an auto-tune charger. You got that one thing. Maybe it's the way she walks. You know something? Seriously, I, I watch enough American Idol to know that they don't do the first audition with music. Said her name was Georgia Rose And her daddy was a dentist I'm left speechless by this. Partially because that was actually really good. It really was. The music, at least, not the choreography. They didn't have that all that down, but hey. Tighten that up a little bit. That actually would have been... I actually almost could have mistaken that for a scene from the Disney era. And she... Okay, his singing was great. I mean, not the... Not the first time, but... Good lord, that's actually, you know, like, legit music that I would expect to hear. And that's actually better than some music I've heard. 
Jesus Christ, can Gnome Canyon actually make music? Just a shame he wasn't in uh, Ninja. S God damn it, Coda! Seriously, how did he not hear that? Shelby, I'm going after Doom. He's got to be near McCannon Forest. <sighs> Tyler, you're going to be vulnerable without the team. Maybe I should go with you. No, I've got to do this on my own. Whatever it takes, I'll kill Doomwing. That's straight off the top of my head. Dude was a better actor when he was pretending to be the crown prince of Xandar. Uh, are we making this a regular- WHAT THE HELL, Kendall? Not in her suit! Not in her suit that protects her from pretty much everything. Suits that allow rangers to survive in space? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh! Sir, add in the Wasserman score, and this is a brilliant fight. Take the sword. Get out of the way of the beam, dude! Dude, you can move like a... You can move on foot faster than most people can move on a motor... or cycle. Why do you look like the Statue of Liberty? Wow! God damn! Ivan's suit looked almost white in that shot. And it still looks almost white. Jesus Christ, Savon!
I actually almost bought that. It's about to get wild. Drive type wild or Uh, um, what? That was actually kind of cool. Silver energy jam ain't working for you, dude. Maybe you should try out the Navy one. That thing still hasn't been moved. Well, he's already got two. Just by way of singing the eyes of the Lord. Travel the world. Turn it upside down. Not one of them. What did I just... Oh, of course, it's the girl who freaked out. I'm... I'm sorry, that... Doesn't make any sense. I think the two of these, the two of them could probably become YouTube stars with singing as good as theirs. Okay, that's actually not bad. Far better than it was towards the beginning of the series, at least. So, this has been unofficial commentary on Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, episode 14, Silver Secret. See you guys next week.